Optimus is back, baby. This robot will become a domestic servant and Tesla's robot cab will be cheaper than public transportation. A bright future of abundance through the eyes of Elon Musk versus the harsh reality. Let's step back and take a look at all the new products Tesla unveiled at the Wii Robot event and see if CyberCab, RoboVan or TeslaBot can save the company. First, the good stuff. Elon Musk has unveiled the promised robo-taxi, and it's the first real car in the world without steering wheel and pedals. It looks like a smaller, almost toy version of the Cybertruck. Its butterfly doors open beautifully, and the futuristic interior offers passengers comfortable seats and a huge multimedia screen, all to keep you busy with work or relaxation rather than wasting time on your trip. A total of 50 autonomous cars were on the Warner Brothers premises yesterday night, and after a short demo from the Iron Man himself, guests were able to try them out in action. Musk emphasized that the robo-taxi technology is entirely based on cameras and artificial intelligence. Therefore, his autonomous cars of the future will not be expensive. In particular, the Cybercab will cost less than $30,000, and although its production will only start in 2026, it will be possible to try out the car earlier. First of all, on models 3 and Y, later on, Cybercab and all other cars produced by the company. At least, that's what Tesla's founder assures us of. He says the company will launch fully autonomous driving in Texas and California as early as next year. And of course, according to the mad genius, it will be 10 to 20 times safer than human driving. The Cybercab doesn't have any connectors. The charging process will happen through induction. And while Musk didn't say how long it'll take, it solves one of the key problems of fully autonomous robo-taxi fleets. Now, they don't need a human to hook them up to a charging station. The car will be able to be summoned from the Tesla app and anyone can add their cybercab to the robo-taxi fleet for part-time work. At the same time, Elon claims that a ride on a Tesla robo-taxi will end up costing less than public transportation. All costs, including operating costs, will be no more than 20 cents a mile. How the entrepreneur calculated these costs remains to be examined, but the guy does build rockets, so how big is that grain of salt? On the other hand, the reality is this. Currently, cabs in the US cost anywhere between a buck and a half and three dollars per mile. You do the math. Also, Elon promises that the autonomous nature of his cars will relieve parking lots in cities, giving more space for parks and recreational facilities since you'll simply be able to summon your car wherever it is, anytime, anywhere. There is a caveat though. Since the new cars have no steering wheels or pedals, Musk will need regulatory approval to start producing them. And getting it may not be as easy, given all the problems and scandals surrounding Tesla's FSD, which Elon has long promoted as either an autopilot or something that's about to become one. Although, in fact, Tesla cars currently only have level 2 autonomy, while competitors such as Waymo and Cruise have already achieved level 4. In many ways, it will depend on whether Musk proves his autopilot to be a working solution on models 3 and Y. Can he pull it off? What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. Moving on, the big surprise of Wii Robot was actually another car, a robot van. Unusual design, something between sci-fi of the 80s and an art deco retro train with no wheels, is complemented by modern, comfortable interior that can hold up to 20 people. This was snow in the middle of July, since Musk is known for his disdain for public transportation. Yet, Tesla decided to enter these uncharted waters by introducing the RoboVan as transportation for sports teams or just a way to save money. Since here, the cost per person per trip should drop to 5 to 10 cents per mile, again, according to Musk. The RoboVan is designed for the Tesla network, an autonomous ride ordering service for robo-taxis and personal autonomous cars of Tesla customers. And of course, the keynote wouldn't have been a Wii Robot event without the headliner of the evening, Optimus. However, as per our team's expectations, it turned out kind of... meh. Despite the cool videos shown on the screen, where the robot plays with children, goes through mail, does shopping, helps with household things, etc, etc, Musk didn't make any sensational statements about how the technology has advanced, emphasizing only that the company has moved far beyond dancers in a robot suit. 
Remember how earlier the entrepreneur had already announced Optimus Gen 3? But at the time, he said that the robot was geared more towards working at the company's factory. Yet yesterday, we saw a clear focus on the consumer market. What's that about? We're getting mixed signals. Is Elon disappointed with Optimus performance, so he gotta move a bunch of product quickly? What do you guys think? As for the third generation of the robot, let's reminisce a bit. First of all, new arms. According to Musk, about half of all development in Optimus involves hands. Initially, Tesla engineers planned to create the simplest but very functional grippers, but they gradually came to the realization that for human dexterity, the robot needs fully human hands, taking into account even such nuances as different lengths of fingers. As a result, Gen 3 will have hands with 22 degrees of freedom. All actuators will now be embedded inside the forearm, but the main expectations are related to the intelligence and autonomy of the machine itself. And that's where the problem lies. It's not just a Tesla thing. It's something that absolutely every company in the world that's trying to create a universal humanoid robot is talking about. That is, of course, the lack of training data. We've already told you about the company hiring operators to control the robots in order to accumulate that data. They've clearly used that information, but it doesn't seem like it quenched the thirst. Overall, we robot was sexy, which is good because Tesla's position has been kind of shaky lately. Yes, the company's market cap is equal to almost all other global automakers combined, but most of Tesla's share price is based on Musk's loud promises to release a revolutionary autonomous car and launch mass sales of universal robots. With demand for electric cars declining and Chinese automakers stepping on heels, Musk has been trying to market the company not as a car maker, but as a developer of robots and AI technology. And today, more than ever, it's important for Elon to be believed. How will investors react to WeRobot? We'll find out soon enough. And while first criticisms are slowly making their way to the podium, many are actually afraid to bet against Elon. For too long, he's been proving, despite misguided timelines and cost expectations, that his company is capable of producing products that stand out in the market and attract a lot of customer attention. What do you think? Will we see robo-taxis on the roads of California and Texas in 2025? And what year will Optimus Robots start mowing our lawns? Let us know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and check out our Instagram for more from the world of high tech. Thank you.